Well, Alexander, what do we do with this? Three. That is a huge number. We have three innovation actions. Really, we know what we want to do with it. Uh, we've we've set about a plan that we've been working on for some time. Uh, it hasn't been going very well. We've stumbled a lot. But the others are are gaining on us in certain respects, gaining on our particular advantages anyway. So we really hope that it could could happen soon. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, since it's the age of Pegasus, I think, uh, we have a Pegasus here and a Pegasus there and a Pegasus there, I think Pegasus is going to hear a story about how things have been um, and about our people and what they, what's been happening. And I guess the story I'll tell Pegasus is not a story about here, but a story about our people who are far away. and. Just kind of let her know how they've been doing, partially because I think it's it's somewhat pertinent. So the crew of the Pablucklin P Wren is uh, flying towards the planet Crystallia. They're on, they're going around the planet Crystallia. They're getting upgraded with Crystallia crystal uh, by robots. Um, then suddenly it comes to pass that the bots have decided to revolt. Um, a crystal ship, which is over here, started shooting missiles. The bots, which were hanging up crystals throughout the ship, decorating it with uh, beautiful crystals on um, hemp twine, ha have started to rebel and were attacking the people. And it was all very bad. Um, uh, cat, or not cat, runt, was a science officer in this world, and she uh, was able to defend herself with the help of Milky, right there. And basically, there is a lot of of commotion, a lot of fighting, a lot of smoke over here. Um, Milky shot some guys over here. Cat, as in cat, fell asleep, and that's that's the story. Not much of a story yet, it's a story in progress. Although it didn't take me that long to tell that story, I think it definitely did tire her out. Um, but she used that energy while she was listening to it to, to knit a, a, a scarf, I think, for Cowboy, uh, who is out here all alone in the cold. Maybe not for long, seems like people are trying to, starting to come towards him. Um, but anyway, maybe that scarf that, that that touch of caring will be what it takes for him to uh, domesticate these maize beans over here. And it wasn't enough. Cowboy wasn't listening. The maize beans ended up being nuts. Always nuts with us, which makes it, you know, <laughs> every time I keep getting nuts, I keep wanting to um, play around with this game here, uh, which is by the Nuts Publishing Company, um, which I think is out of France. Um, the Perucleen Wars, you can't really see them because there's that stripe on the back. Uh, and I probably massacred the name. But it looks interesting. I read the rules. Um, it's it's a small little war game style game. Uh, Hex Encounter that um, goes into a bit of this, this 16th or 17th century, I think, novel. And you get to reenact a small portion of that. Definitely a... a game that seems my speed. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play it, but however, since these guys are still in their bot wars, um, I can't even try it out. So I just keep hearing nuts, but I can't do nuts because I have to wait for the, the first mission of the bot wars to finish so I can set it up on this table here, because obviously I'm not going to set it up on this table anytime soon. A lot of nuts. So now we have one more action. We used, basically, we used one action to um, bring Pegasus into the sky and another action to let her down. Now what are we going to do with the third action? Well, we got a couple of choices. We could um, t tell more stories and bring someone else up. Or we could ransack a card. Um, um, or we could draw a fresh card. That might be interesting too. I'll have to think about that. So there was this one time when um, Flush went with Giraffe to a family reunion uh, just because she felt like she didn't want to show up by herself and Flush wasn't doing anything. 
so they she, she talked him into it, and there was there was going to be some weenies there and beans, and he likes the, that, those um, if they're if they're done well. And she assured him that her father was was rather rather good with the barbecue, and um, her mother was good with the barbecue beans, and so he went. And um, there, you know, he, Flush doesn't indulge himself in alcohol too often. But when he does, it um, definitely loosens his lips. Um, not that they need much help. He's, he's more than happy to share uh, his thoughts and his opinions with those around him. But he had a couple too many wine coolers. And I don't know if too many is really the right, right way of phrasing it. It, but that's kind of the common way of phrasing it. He had um, more wine coolers than he's used to, and he ended up with quite, in quite the argument with her uncle um, on her mother's side about uh, about uh, fiscal policy of whatever the current administration was in their world at that time, um, and flesh. Flesh went on this long, long diatribe and uh, berating the uncle and um, talking about how, you know, if people needed to, uh, you know, allow, give the money, uh, give the, the tax breaks to the wealthy so that they could um, then um, hire hire people, I guess, uh, was his idea that that's what they would do with it ra rather than um, buy themselves uh, car elevators. Um, and just when he was like getting to this this firm point, uh, the uncle broke wind. And it wasn't a very good story, but it was one that, that giraffe's, giraffe's mother would tell many times after that. All right, we're going to finish our turn off with the population increase. I'm just going to roll a die rather than take them off the board here. Um, we're not including Pegasus, but the other four are all four ga fair game, including Cowboy there. Um, so one, two, three, four. Anything else is a reroll. One. Another flush is going south. One, two, three, four, five. I guess to this space right here by the silver. And I think that's going to do it for this turn. I apologize for the, the kind of quick sweep through things despite the long windedness. It was long winded and yet uh, devoid of a lot of information this turn. I think it's because of the timing. I uh, The turn happened um, right towards the end of my night and so I feel like I need to get it in quickly and I like to you know take the turn with the camera so that you can be here with me Alexandra but sometimes that, that that means I don't really have as much time as I would to kind of um, thoroughly think things out or explain or discuss or talk about other things like the um, championship fathering book which I was hoping to talk about this time. 